To create an RMA with FSW, firstly you need to go to fsw.uk.com. Once you are here, click Downloads and scroll down towards FSW Warranty and Product Return Procedure. Then clicking on the green button FSW Returns Portal. Firstly, you'll need to create an account. Here you need to add your company details, a registered email address and phone numbers. For every occasion you will need to fill in the number supplied in the blue box. Once completed, click Submit. You have now created an RMA account. To create an RMA, click Submit New RMA Request. Firstly, you will see the Product Return Policy. To read this and scroll down, agree to terms and conditions and click Submit. This is where you enter your product code that you are returning. Once entered, please check the product code is correct and the description matches the item that you are returning. If so, press continue. You will now need to enter all the fields on this RMA. Engineer's name, quantity returning, original, original invoice, A replacement invoice if you have purchased a replacement for this item. A serial number on the unit. Any notes relevant, for example, faulty. The person creating the RMA, which would be yourself. The reason for returning, so we would select defective on this one. And a detailed problem description, as faulty will not be accepted by our suppliers. If you have any photos, you can click them here which would help proceed with your claim. If not, press Submit. If you have another product that you would like to add to the return, you can press the blue button, Add another product to return, or if you are finished, click the green button, I am done adding products. Here you will need to confirm your address, your telephone number and fax number. Then click Submit RMA Request in blue. You have now completed your first RMA. This will now generate an email to your email account stating your request ID, this one being 11292. As soon as this RMA has been accepted, you will receive another RMA email stating that your return is now possible. Once you have received your FSW RMA email, you can then re-log on and check RMA case status. Here you now have your RMA number that has been produced by the returns team. If you click on the RMA number, you are then able to print your packing lists. Click 
click print at the top, one copy for yourself and one co copy for the FSW branch. You are now able to return your RMA to your local FSW branch.